We begin Fox 13 News Live at 5 with continuing breaking news. Crews are dealing with wildfires in Salt Lake County this afternoon. We have team coverage this evening. Utah's Weather Authority Dina Friedman is tracking the hot and windy conditions out there. Fox 13 News reporters Jenna Bree and Brian Schnee are each live at different fires. Let's start with Jenna at the Lakeshore Fire on the Salt Lake Tooele County border. Jenna. That's right, Bob and Kelly, multiple fires popping up alongside I-80 on the border between Tooele and Salt Lake County. I'm joined now by Aaron Lance. He's with Unified Fire. Aaron, what can you tell us about this fire that's been burning this afternoon? So this current fire started about 1230 this afternoon, started on the east side of I-80. Uh, and with the winds and the heat, it jumped I-80 pretty quickly uh, over to the marina side. I-80 was shut down for a little bit. Um, Unified Fire, Murray, Salt Lake City, uh, all those entities were able to control this fire and contain it pretty quickly. These resources have now joined Tooele, North Tooele Fire and fighting the fire that you can see behind us that's burning in North Tooele. Going into this weekend, you know, how does preparation look like for you when you have these red flag warnings? We just got to understand and, and try to get um, the communities to understand it's hot. It's windy, it's dry, so be very cautious of any fires that you may or look at your cars and maintain them, brakes, catalytic converters, any chains dragging, it's gonna spark any fire along the roadways and it could potentially be dangerous to communities. Absolutely, and I know Dina told us we're gonna have some more winds this weekend, but what do you think just going into this summer, what the wildfire season is going to be looking like? If it goes anywhere like it's going this weekend, it's it's going to be a long summer for us. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Aaron. And again, I-80, both lanes eastbound and westbound are open. No travel difficulties right now. Crews continuing to put out these fires, as you can see behind me. Reporting live from Lake Point, Jenna Bree, Fox 13 News, Utah. All right, Jenna, thank you so much. Let's go now to Fox 13 News reporter Brian Schnee, who is live in Bluffdale. Another fire earlier burning alongside the freeway there. Brian, what is the fire doing right now? Bob Kelly, good evening to you both. A much smaller fire than the one that Jenna was at, but each spark, of course, has its own set of consequences. This one burning along Pony Express Road adjacent to I-15. Now, Bluffdale, Draper, Sandy City firefighters just wrapped up here. They tell me just shy of three acres, the cause remaining under investigation. The concern here is these high winds, not just for sparks flying, but for the inability to fly firefighting aircraft today. As other fires in northern Utah ignited late morning into the afternoon. So did the Barney's Wash fire on Rio Tinto land near Copperton Mine. This is in southwest Salt Lake County. The fire wind driven. It ran fast across across some grassy terrain. Dozers from Rio Tinto as well as Unified Fire Authority personnel worked on the fire. From our vantage point, the fire had a solid dozer line around it, but high winds continue to be a concern there, even with no flames present during our time in that area. Exact acreage is unknown on on the Barney's Wash fire. However, estimates approach about 100 acres. As we mentioned, wind a concern, not just for fire suppression on the ground, but for firefighters that can do their work from the sky. We're told that these gusts anywhere from 30, 40, 50, even more in terms of miles per hour, hazardous depending on the aircraft that is flying, whether it be a fixed wing aircraft or a helicopter. Not only is that dangerous, but fire crews making the decision today that manage those aircraft, that it's just not safe for those pilots to be in the air. We're live in Bluffdale tonight. Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah.